Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's an early one today, but before I head down to the Magical Express, I wanted to tell you a little bit about Disney's Boardwalk Resort. Disney's Boardwalk Resort, or just simply the Boardwalk, is a deluxe resort here at Walt Disney World that is themed to Coney Island. It's located in the Epcot area, which puts you right in the middle of the action. You're walking distance from Hollywood Studios, walking distance from Epcot, and there's a boat that gets you to both places, if that's more your speed. You're also walking distance from a Disney Skyliner station, which means that if you're planning on resort hopping and enjoying restaurants or drinks from different resorts around Walt Disney World, this is a really ideal location. The theming at Disney's Boardwalk is amazing. Like the name suggests, it sits on a boardwalk where there is a lot of dining, entertainment, and, and just fun things to do, at least under normal circumstances. There's the character dining location here, which is also a really good restaurant. There's the ESPN club, dueling pianos, a dance hall, a pizza window, a bakery where you can get some delicious food, and Boardwalk has one of the best gift shops located on Walt Disney World property as far as I'm concerned, and that's called the Screen Door General Store. You can get everything from Disney merchandise to necessities, snacks. There's a lot of stuff that you can get at the Screen Door General Store. Rooms at Disney's Boardwalk are pretty standard. They're what you come to expect from rooms pretty much at any other deluxe resort. Theming of the building is good. You get a lot of that like circus-y carnival boardwalk theme all around the resort from the carpets to the artwork, even to the pool, which looks like a roller coaster. And speaking of pools, there are plenty of pools to enjoy, including the feature pool where you'll find that keister coaster. There are also quiet pools around as well. Of course, as is the case with every resort, there are some downsides. Disney's Boardwalk does have rooms that feel on the smaller side. I find the bathroom to be rather small and not necessarily ideal if you're going to be staying here with a large group, even though this deluxe studio can sleep five. There are also two sides of the boardwalk. The one that faces the boardwalk, which is going to be a spectacular view of the lights and the people, and you're going to be able to hear music and see lights all day. Though the music does stop at night, the lights will stay on all night long so that is not necessarily for everybody the music is loud enough to hear in your room with the windows shut and the lights will make it so you're going to want to cinch those curtains closed and if that doesn't sound good to you there are rooms on the opposite side of the building that look out over the pool maybe they look out over a little green space those are going to be a bit more quiet unless maybe you're staying by the feature pool but you'll still have the same convenience of the boardwalk if that's what you're looking for. Another common complaint about the boardwalk is how long it is. This is one really long building, so there's quite a bit of walking in order to get to the lobby area, and you might find yourself walking quite a bit in order to get to an elevator. But again, this resort is set up more like a hotel, so when you open your door, you're inside, and all of that walking is taking place in the air conditioning, which is very convenient. Dining locations for this resort are great. As I mentioned, there's lots of dining along the boardwalk. It's also a short walk to the Yacht and Beach Club, which has some great dining as well. You can also take a boat there. Since Epcot is in walking distance, you can enjoy the World Showcase and all the food that they have there as well, which is another plus when it comes to dining at the boardwalk. And, of course, Skyliner, which gives you access to all of the resorts along that Skyliner route. And... With more resorts come more awesome restaurants. Personally, this has been a running favorite for me for a really long time, and I do love staying here. Location is great. The rooms are all right, but the resort is definitely in need of a little bit of work, although I personally don't think that that takes away from the experience that you'll have here. It's just something that I've noticed as I've been walking around and keeping an eye out for all of those fun things that I like to see when I'm here at the boardwalk. 
Speaking of that, I'll say one more thing before I wrap this up. Disney's Boardwalk is a deluxe resort, and usually that means that the theming is toned down when it comes to Disney. And although this isn't as big and loud of a Disney-themed resort as some others, there are a lot of hidden Mickeys here. There are a lot of Disney touches, and I think that this also makes the Boardwalk a great option if you have little ones, but you still want that deluxe resort experience. Of course, I will share all of my thoughts on Disney's Boardwalk in great detail over at twofoolishmortals.com, so you can check that out if you're interested. I also did a full room tour here on the channel. I will put a link in the description down below, and I have pictures of the resort as well over on twofoolishmortals.com. But I've got to run. I have got a flight to catch leaving the magic today, which definitely makes me sad, but it was a great trip. So, I just want to say thank you so much for spending some time with me this morning, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.